New Central now begins with update on the COVID-19 pandemic across Africa. Now in West, West Africa, in Nigeria, the country's National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, that's NAFDAC, has hinted that it will soon start manufacturing vaccines in the country, thus limiting the country's dependency on foreign-produced vaccines. The agency said this following its elevation by the global health body to a maturity level three status. With the development, NAFDAC Director General Professor Mujisola Adeye, who disclosed this at a news conference on Wednesday in Abuja, said Nigerian-made products will be traded globally. The elevation of NAFDAC, Professor Adeye explained, showed that the agency had raised its standard in not just administering and marketing, but also in post-marketing, production registration, and many others. Right now, joining us to discuss this further is the Director General of NAFDAG, Professor Mujisola Adeye. Thank you very much for joining us, ma'am. Thank you very much. Uh, it's good to be here. It's good to thank have you. you. All right, thank you, ma'am. So now the WHO has certified NAFDAG to produce, um, you know, Nigerian-made COVID-19 vaccines. How did Nigeria achieve that feat? Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, uh, WHO did not uh, certify us to manufacture vaccines. Uh, they raised our standard to maturity level three uh, to ensure that the manufacturing of vaccines will be based on international best practices. NAVDAC does not manufacture vaccines. We are a regulatory agency and uh, our guidelines are guidances must be such that will make the manufacturing of vaccine Are you there, ma'am? International best practices. Yes, are based on international best practices. So just to answer your question, uh, how did we get to this place? It, it, it took uh, about four and a half years of training on the part, on the part rather, of our staff, uh, we started using or training in quality systems because you cannot use international best practices without having a good quality template. And that quality template focuses on the user, the end user, customer, that is going to use whatever we are producing, whether it's vaccine or any other medicine, should be the premium uh, for our staff. Uh, and then the agency of the country, of the of the, agent, the the image rather, of the agency and image of the country. So we started the training on quality systems. And that took about a year and a half. So we got certified, but that was the beginning of the journey. Because the fact that we got certified doesn't mean we are finished. So every year we do self auditing to ensure that whatever they trained us on, that we can replicate or improve on such. At the same time, we started this uh, WHO global benchmarking. So they, what happens is that they have standards that they shared with us that we have to meet. Those standards were about 800 and actually the recommendations from the standard. There are about 868 that we have to meet. And we started uh, first quarter of 2018 and uh, it took us four and a half years or so. And uh, here we are. We are now maturity level three uh, regulatory agency. All right, thank you very much, Professor Mujisola. Now uh, to further ask you this question, how much of interagency effort and collaboration was garnered between the Pharmaceutical Council of Nigeria, that's the PCN, NAFDAC, and the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency? First of all, for this particular uh, recognition that we have been given, the, the National Primary uh, Agency, the National Primary Health Agency was not involved. It, it was between NAFDAC and PCN. Uh, PCN is Pharmacist Council of Nigeria, and they uh, give license to any pharmaceutical company 
that wants to establish in Nigeria. They right. also oversee uh, the uh, distribution of medicines among pharmacists to ensure that they use professional uh, practices. But NABDAC, so PCN had one function. NABDAC had seven functions from the regulatory system. How is NABDAC from entering the building from customer service to testing of medicine to registration to inspection uh, to clinical trials, the benchmark us on seven functions. So the interagency uh, collaboration it was between uh, NABDAC and PCN for this particular maturity level three benchmarking. However, we have been working uh, day and night with national primary health because of COVID-19 vaccine, because we national primary health is there to do immunization, uh, delivery of vaccines and so on to uh, our workplace. And NABDAC has to approve the vaccine uh, first to get into the country or to be approved as for emergency use. And then we also have to approve uh, for immunization. So we interact a lot uh, with national primary health, but it is not related to maturity level three uh, directly. Over. All right, uh, Professor Mojisala, now we know that nobody saw this COVID-19 pandemic coming. And then we also understand that to stem the effect and curb the spread, we need to research, we need to develop, uh, to, to develop and we also need to you know, uh, put in so much effort. How can Nigeria be at the forefront of this? What can Nigeria do to be on top of the situation in, in uh, future references? Actually, we are already doing a lot. Uh, we can do better. In terms of the manufacturing, we need to come together as a nation. Uh, we have well-talented uh, uh, individuals among us uh, that can come together in terms of setting up the manufacturing company now that NABDAC is ML3, uh, maturity level three certified. Uh, but uh, in terms of what we can do, we are already fostering uh, cooperation, collaboration, because NABDAC has to ensure every step in the manufacturing process that we are there to give guidance to ensure that international best practices will be used so that the health of our own people will be protected. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Mujisola. We really appreciate your time on the news. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Have All a right. nice day.